today we're gonna be doing the $30 fall bass fishing challenge, baby. Bringing the big bass energy today, repping the KTV TV merch. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave the link below. It really means a lot for everybody that supports the brand because it helps me out with my gas money when I'm traveling to make these videos. Shout out Casey, Darian, Kathy, Lori, Jordan, Owen, David, David, Kevin, Samuel, Curtis, Jennifer, and Brandon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for copying some of the merch on the website. You guys can check it out down below. It's 30% off and I'd really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and hop into today's video. We have a banger today. I am, uh, I've been reading a lot of comments. People have been asking for this one for a little bit. So I'm like, man, we're gonna rock it today. It's getting a little cold, man. You guys are seeing me wear a sweatshirt. You guys don't see that much. But we're gonna be bringing our big bass energy today and we're gonna catch a lot of fish. Before you start roasting me, Ignore the mess. I know it's messy, okay? I, I know it's messy. It's very bad, okay? Just just stay calm with me. But we are whipping the kayak out today. You guys saw a few videos back where I was like, man, we're going to go take the kayak out, and today is that day, boys. We're going to be taking this bad boy out. I got to figure out how to get it off my kayak trailer by myself. If you guys are wondering what these are, this is Alan Bob's. I actually just called him. He's actually asleep, and he said he'll let me know if he wants to go fishing. Which probably means no, <laughs> but this is Delton's. He's at work, so he won't be joining us today. But we'll be taking this one off and uh, taking it for a spin. So our limit for this fishing challenge today is $30. Everybody's been commenting below, Noah, don't go to the tackle shop. Use tackle that you already have for this $30 challenge. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. But I'm going to put a little spin on it, guys. We're, we're just going to have a little tiny spin. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. So you guys know my Super 6 box that we used in the last episode. If you guys haven't seen this video, I highly suggest you go back and watch it. Well, this Super 6 box is a monthly subscription box by Six Cents. It's killer. All premium products, the best stuff out there. Hands down, there's no questions asked. You compare this to any other box company, this will outbeat it hands down. Like literally, hands down. But anyways, I got a lot of stuff in this bag right now. This actually values to about $28. But there's, I believe, five or six lures in here, like premium lures. We're gonna be taking these out, we're gonna lay them out, and we're gonna exchange them for other baits that I have in my garage. So that's gonna kinda go for the $30 value. And just to clarify, that's actually $28 for that box, but it values to be almost $60 worth of baits. Just, just to put that in there. but. We're, we're gonna cheat a little bit today, guys. We, I wanna make this video interesting, man, but we're gonna be taking about five to six lures out on the old backyard pond. And listen, I wanna show you guys some big bass. We're bringing the big bass energy, baby. We're gonna make it happen. We have a ton of tackle laid out. Now we have to layer this down to about $30 worth of tackle, which is gonna be about five lures, man. About five is what we're gonna to choose today. So like I said, we got a bunch of different stuff. We're gonna be piling all the lures into this old premium bag by six cents, a little bait bag. I love this freaking thing. I've been taking it to the, all the little banks around me and it's been working pretty well. So let's go ahead and get this started. We got the scale. That's gonna be something that is not a part of the Part of the $30 challenge and the pliers those have to go along with us so right now I'm a little behind a lot of you guys I'm still in the summer to fall transition it's just started getting cold we just started to have those cold nights last night was around I think 53 degrees that is the first really cold night that we've had and um, I think these fish are gonna be munching the pressure is slightly lower we had a big front come in yesterday and um, I'm curious to see if these fish are gonna be biting today the main thing I think is going to be a moving bite. Okay, these fish are chasing bait. This fall pattern is starting to happen and I'm getting a little excited. So we're going to want to pick out some baits that, you know, we're going to imitate those shad that the bass are pushing up shallow and feeding on. So that's going to be one of our main targets today. We're also going to have a bunch of slow moving baits, probably a bunch. By a bunch, I mean probably a couple that we're going to throw in there just in case because you never know what's going to happen. And then I also probably going to have a top water lure um just to kind of toy with man i want to see if they're going to come up and eat it today and i have something down there that i think is going to do the trick but if you guys are interested in the super six box you can check it out i'll leave the link below like i said all premium stuff if you guys want to get 10 percent off any six cents stuff i'll leave that link below or i'll leave my code i'll pop it up on the screen right here as well um that'd be cool but if you guys are new to the channel hit that freaking subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell and i promise you you guys won't be disappointed in the content. Well, it is time, boys. It is time for us to pick them out, and we are going to see what our first lure is today. So all these ones that I kind of dropped out of the um, Super 6 box, I'm going to kind of lay out because 
Boy. That's the top water lure I'm actually using today. We might as well set that one aside. So you guys see this right here? Oh man. Oh, that, that, hold on, hold on. Get you out of the packaging, boy. Look at that right there. I've used the Mad Dog before, which is the bigger, bigger version of this one. I haven't used this one yet, and I'm pretty excited. This isn't a huge topwater bait. I don't know if I'm gonna get any to come up on topwater, but I am gonna bring my braided combo with me. And I think with this $30 challenge, we have to add some sort of topwater. So this is gonna be our first lure today. We're gonna set this aside. We got about four more that we wanna pick out. So let's go ahead and move on to the slow moving baits. All right, so we have quite an option when it comes to the slow moving baits. We got the clout right here. We got the stroker crawl, which you guys have not even seen yet by six cents. I've actually caught a lot on it. I filmed a video the other day and the audio messed up and I caught a bunch of huge ones on this. I didn't get to release it because the audio was just screwed. But um, what else we got? We got a big 12 inch worm. That's what we've been fishing a lot. Um, I only have a few in there that are new. A lot of those are already used. Um, let's see over here. We got a bunch of other soft plastics. What is this? This is a big magnum shaky head worm. Oh yeah, magnum trick worm. We're gonna lay those down. I don't know if I'm gonna be using those, but we'll see. Um, we got the zoom regular trick worms. Ultra vibe worms we'll lay out there. All right, what else we got in here? We got two Sankos right there. I don't think we really want that. Got some other top waters. It's like a saltwater lure. I have no idea why I have that. Then we got some fish heads in this box. Let's kind of see. Let's see what uh, type these are. Oh man. Oh man. That's a. Uh, ooh. We might <laughs> we might have to use that today. Um. I think that's about it for the slow moving baits. Let's see. Yeah, that's about it right there. So looking at all these right now, let's go ahead and layer them down and figure out our soft plastic. We got our top water, let's set that aside. Now let's figure out what we're gonna use. So we got some speed worms right here. That could be really great. Um, this is in a red bug color, it's similar to the plum. We're gonna set those aside. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using those. Um, stroker crawl, I'm not sure if I really wanna go with a crawl today. So I think I'm gonna have to set these aside, even though I whacked them on this the other day, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna set that aside. Let's see, these, like I said, pretty much all gone out of the package. This, I would totally use, but I don't have a shaky yet, so I'm gonna set that aside. And kind of the same with this. I don't know how finicky these fish are gonna be today, so I don't know if I wanna throw something this large. This is a very large trick worm right here. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the Senko style bait, and this is the clout by six cents. And um, this color is very unique, and I actually have used this years ago, um, this color pattern. We fished a two-day tournament. It was a two-day high school tournament. This was years ago. And um, I think there was like 200 and something boats, maybe 300 boats. We ended up leading day one, and it was one on this exact color. Okay, we ended up finishing third overall in the tournament. We ended up choking day two. I ended up losing like a big eight pounder, but um, this guy was one of the key baits that we used in that color. I think this is the one that we're gonna be going with, the Senko style bait. Um, we're gonna rig it up on a standard Texas rig, which I'll go ahead and throw the supplies in this bag, um, which I got right here. We got some little bullet weights. Got some little EWG hooks. We'll just go ahead and throw that in the bag so we can rig that up. So moving bait, top water. Now I have a bait that I gotta pick out, guys. We got the old chatter donk. We have to bring a chatter donk with us today. I think it's just required. You guys know I love the chatter donkey. And um, this does not match at all, as you guys can tell. But what I am gonna end up putting on it, the divine swim baits right here. We're gonna set these aside. This is just gonna go with the chatter bait. Um, so we're gonna set that here, chatter donkey. The divine swim baits, top water. So now we got a moving bait, we got a top water moving bait, and then we got a bottom bait, which is gonna be the Senko. So we're all supplied right here with the goodness. We saw the fish heads. I think we're gonna have to go with them today. Um, I'm gonna throw two in there just in case if I break off. But um, fish head spin right here, this is one of my favorite baits of all time. I haven't used it in such a long time, but with the fish feeding up on chat, I think this is going to be a killer bait. We can pair it up with those uh, divine swim baits right there. If you know me well, you guys know I love to throw an old trapper roo. And this is actually the Snatch by Six Cents. And I used it in last episode and I absolutely killed it on it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a bunch of uh, teeth marks all over that sucker on the top. 
they were munching this thing in the last video. So we're gonna add that, that is five lures. I think we're gonna pick one more just to have more of a variety. Last time I fished my backyard pond, I actually ended up smacking them on a crankbait. I don't know if you guys saw that episode, but it was actually a really killer one. It was a killer, it was a killer little deal. Let's see our options. Where is the swank? I know we had a swank. Oh, don't, don't do that. Yeah, there's the swank right there. I don't know if we should go with the swank or if we should go with, oh man, look at that. Look at that right there. Mmm, that color is so good. Mmm, this is so hard. Should I go with the swank or should I go with... This This color just looks too good, especially for this time of year. That's why I'm like really coming back to this one. And I really don't know what to pick. Or we could go with this one, which is a square bill. I think we're going to go with this one. This one bought me over just on the paint job. I, I just really think that color is so sexy, man. All right, I think that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and pack all this stuff up and go over what we're going to be using. All right, guys, we got the kayak out of the water now. I've actually been standing here and I've seen a bunch of fish chasing bait already. It's an awesome thing to see, especially when we're about to put in the water because I really want to get a couple topwater bites today. So these are the baits that I tied on. We're trying to cover a variety. We got a topwater bait right here. We have the old clout right here. We have a fish head right here. Oh, oh, oh. And then we got an old crankbait right there. So we're going to be trying all of these out today, trying to catch fish on all of these baits. We got a good variety. We got two good moving baits. The fish head, I'm probably going to fish more on the bottom unless we see them schooling. Um, and then we got the clout, which is obviously a bottom moving bait. And then we got the top water, which is on the top. And I would love to get on a top water bite today, but let's go ahead and put the kayak in, man. Let's give it a shot. I'm very excited. I'm getting pumped and I uh, hopefully we'll catch a big one. Oh. All right, boys, we are ready. Let's get us off the bank. Perfecto, perfecto. All right, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna start off with? That's the main question. We got some rocks behind me that I really wanna hit with a crankbait. So I think we will start off with the old crank daddy and give it a shot, see if we can get a fish to choke that bad boy. I know there has to be some on these rocks. All right, old C6 right here. I think it's so sexy, that color is just, uh. Perfect for this time of year too. Loosen my drag just a little bit. Come on, fish. Let's get us a big one, man. Let's get us a big one. I thought I had one right away. I about freaked out right there. Let me ask you this. What if we tried the old top water? A little bit of shade right here. Oh, look at that. This is about that time when I'm gonna pick up a slow moving bait around, you know, some cover up there that I know there's some fish on. And we're gonna drag this clout right over those rocks and we should get a bite. Check our drag, loosen up a tiny bit, okay. I got him. Came off. Wow. He's running with the clout that just shows you look at that pulled it right off shows you switching up your presentation look at that he tore he had it i don't understand how i didn't get him hooked there he is there he is oh my god if i pulled the rod out of my hand on the clout we've had two bites today both on the clout slow moving bait maybe we made a mistake by picking all these moving baits today maybe they're a little slower than we think look at that They're either eating so weird today. No, 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 no. He had it. Gosh, dang it. There he is. Boom. Let's go. All right. Look how hyper he is, look at that. Gosh, hammered the clout right there. He ain't big, he only about a pound, but he got it. Got a bunch, oh crap, hold up. 
I'm losing my kayak now. Beautiful little bass feeding up here by this hard cover. You know, these fish are chasing the bait up shallow. They're eating them in these trees, little pound bass on the old clout. That is awesome. We've had about three bites today on the clout. Finally got one to commit and he hammered it that time. Choked it, choked the crankbait. Choked it all the way in the back of his throat. All the way in the back of his throat. Oh my gosh, it's gone. That's C6 right there by six cents. Look at, it's gone in the back of his throat. I can't even see it. Where's my net? Oh my God, I don't have my net. Mmm. Look at that, in the back of his throat. That's C6 right there, look at that. Biggin, dude. Biggin in the back. Dude, you can't even see it. Look at that. <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh. That's exactly this time of year what you want. Look, he ate it head freaking first, bro. Look at that thing. It's gone. That's a three pounder. Solid three pound fish. Ate it right at the kayak. Look how he ate that thing. Head first, man, in the back of his throat. You can't even see it from here. Look at that, that is what we're looking for today is these big fall bass that I eat a bait like that. Let's go ahead and get him off the hook. Got him on a good reaction bite on the C6 by six cents, 10% off code down in the description box below if you guys are interested. That is a big one right there. Barely get it out the way that he ate it. Come on, I literally just heard you a minute ago. Now you're not gonna turn on? Well, I think we can all vouch that that's a three pounder. I'm not gonna hold him out of the water any longer. Beautiful bass. Thank you so much for biting. Look at his fat belly. He's been feeding. Ate that reaction bait. Come on. I know you're a little buzzed. Yep, there he goes. Boom, let's go, guys. Look at that right there. That sexy color did the trick. I was talking about it, and I just freaking caught a big one on it right at the kayak. That is exactly what you guys want this time of year. Is a big fall of bass like that to choke a crankbait. I'm, I'm not even lying. I have not seen a fish eat a crankbait head first like that in a very long time that was such a good bite i knew right when i hooked him i was like this is a this is a big one, man this is a giant gotta carry your big bass energy baby i hope you guys are doing it if you guys aren't catching fish right now don't be discouraged keep trying keep going out there don't give up boys but uh we're gonna keep going that was on the c6 by six cents i'm very impressed by it. that killer color that we were just talking about i was like this color just looks too good not to throw it and it got the job done. Let's keep on throwing it, see if we can get another reaction bite. This is a good little lesson, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this right now. This is so important. This line is very frayed after that catch. Okay, this fish ate it head first. Look at the teeth marks on that sucker. So we're actually gonna sit back. It takes two seconds and we're gonna retie. I always check that after catching a big fish because you never know when the fish ate it a little weird or if you're rubbing it up against rock or whatever the case may be, you need to always check your line and retie. Oh. On that same crank. Oh my gosh. They're munching it. Two and a half pounder. They are munching this crank. This color, man, I had a feeling at the beginning and now it's really showing. So tips for getting these fish off. If you grab them behind the gills like that, it paralyzes them. That's why you don't see this fish flopping around much. And then you can allow you to get that hook out just like that without having to get your hands all in it. See how he's not moving at all? That is a fat two and a half pound bass. I'm gonna see if I can get a weight on him. Oh, it's working this time. This scale has been a pain in the butt recently. I think he might be two and a quarter. Oh, he turned off. What is wrong with this scale? I think it's, not neg it's gonna weigh negative, but it'll show the weight. I think about two and a quarter now that I'm looking at him. All right, now once we take them off, it turns off. All right, the scale's broken, guys. I'm not holding this fish out any longer. Beautiful fish right there. Let's get him back in the water. 
a crankbait bite, man. Thank you, big girl. Mm, let's go, guys. Come on, get that big bass energy with me. You guys watching right now? You better have your big bass energy while you're watching. This this crankbait right here, look how beautiful that color is. Really getting the job done, man. So we just fished these two points with moving baits. Now we're gonna switch over to a slow presentation. We're gonna throw the cloud out here and see if we can catch any fish. You know, some of these might be a little more lethargic than the other ones, okay? We got those moving bites back there, but as you could tell, some of the other places that we went to, they didn't really wanna chase. They wanted something slow and in front of their face. So since we didn't have any fish eat a moving bait right here, we're gonna switch up to a bottom bait and see if we can wiggle it right in front of the fish's nose, see if we'll eat it. There he is. What did I say? Oh my gosh. Guys, this is a really big fish. Look at him toting me. What did I say? Oh, he's running at me. Oh, what the heck? He ain't that big. He's still good. He's about two pounder. I thought he was a lot bigger. He ain't even that. He's a pound and a half. Why did you feel so big? He is aggressive. You see how aggressive he is? Right off that point. He's fat too. He's been feeding. God, he's got me wet. Oh, right into my hands, boys. Mm, let's go. Two on the clout, two on the crankbait. C6. It's looking good, boys. Looking real good, boys. Look how fat he is. So, this fish has probably been feeding all day. Just now, started to slow down. He got right off on that point. Look how fat he is. Threw that worm up there and he killed it. That is a beautiful fish right there. Just the frame and everything is awesome. How you doing? Thank you. All right, guys, beautiful fish. Get him back in the water. That is awesome right there. Quality one. Now I'm done with all you said, all you wanted.